We could stab somebody with this. We could literally just like, make sure they're not watching me. <laughs> there we go. This is my favorite part of being a truck driver right here. Y'all know I just thought about it. I need to pick up my uh, wiper blades. I don't think y'all have ever seen me open the hood before. I don't think I've ever done that for y'all. No, oh, come on, come on. There we go. Yep. <laughs> oh. All right, let's try not to bust our asses now. You can use the lug nuts if they're not frozen. And then climb on, oh, sorry, the camera. Climb onto the tire. See, look, they just freeze solid to the windshield, boys. Look at that, that was just from the time I was in tractor supply. I ain't going nowhere for a while, but at least I'll feel better if they're up off the thing. You know what I'm saying? Is that even gonna work? No, it's not gonna work, cause it's gonna close on top of it. So I can't. I have to close the uh, the hood first. So then how am I gonna do it? I think, there's the hood with a, no, that ain't gonna work. Hold on a minute. Let me see. Oh. Yeah, you can do it, but you gotta close the hood first. So then how do I get up there? <laughs> God. Oh, you stupid ass thing. You have to pull that up. It's a safety feature so the wind doesn't knock it down on your head. Let's see. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to climb up as best as I can without busting my ass out here. Oh God, I'm gonna die. Yeah. That ain't gonna work. Oh, hell. You know, sometimes I just struggle in life with things. Just deal with it. Just, just, yeah, laugh it up, guys. Laugh it up. Sometimes I just struggle, all right? Give me a break. This side's much easier for me because I'm left-handed. This feels more natural. It sure don't work. All to hell with it. I'll just have to clean them off whenever after the storm. You can't lift them up. There's no way. That sucks. Woo, okay. We're moving and grooving. Are the tires rolling? The tires are rolling. Make sure nothing's froze up. Test our brakes real quick. <laughs> okay. Good morning, guys. Uh, we stayed here at the tractor supply last night. We're going to pick up our load now. Uh, do I need to go the, uh, yeah, I need to go the other way. I need to go the other way. I just realized that. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot. Yeah, this way is actually really tight to take a right up there. It'd be much easier to go back to the right. Uh, anyways, I stayed here at the tractor supply last night. Uh, in this spot, if y'all follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you would have saw I took a picture. I was right in between those two trucks there. Uh, yesterday when I stopped here was that truck over there only, but then this guy parked here. I know that guy's in his truck because I heard him open the door a couple times uh, this morning. So I know he stayed in his truck. That guy lives in there's like an apartment complex living area back there. That's where that guy lives. So he's probably on some home time or something I would imagine. But this guy here, this DTS guy, I heard him a few times this morning. Anyways, uh, yeah, it is snowing still. The roads are looking a lot better based off of the, uh, the traffic cams and you know, the uh, DOT website, you know, where they're either red, orange, yellow, or green. They were all orange and red last night. And now they, they're sort of like a mix of orange and green they showing. So it looks like they're a lot better now. So we're gonna go to our pickup, which is literally 20 minutes down the road uh, here in Louisville. So I've actually been to this place before. This is where I got sent to California last time. I picked up at this place and went to Calexico. So, yeah. Oh my God, I couldn't, oh Jesus. <laughs> so 
so I hit a bump back there that I couldn't see because of the snow and I almost got stuck. <laughs> Yeah, I think I kind of went over a curb there, I think. <laughs> but my cabinet up there was open with my paperwork in it because I did my tractor supply paperwork. So I was doing paperwork last night, I forgot to close that cabinet. And when I hit the freaking curb, all those freaking scared the shit out of me. All those papers and everything came flying out and down on my head. It's just little packets of paper, but you know, like little uh, booklets of paper for our loads. But god dang, I guess I need to follow the tracks better. That was my fault, man. I'm pretty sure I hit a curb. It's the only thing it could have been, I guess. Anyways, guys, it is snowing, as you can see. Luckily, we don't have far to go. But I am ready to get this load and get headed home, man. This is, I think, the last load. They might have me take one more. I don't know. But I'm, I'm ready to get on down home. Dave bought a new computer, a new laptop. Uh, I threw down, splurged a bit on a nice one that'll be better for editing and gaming when I'm gaming. I also am going to have the protective case for my GoPro over there so I can use the turn cam even in weather like this and bad weather. So yeah, I got plans, man. I got plans. Well, it's kind of weird. They dispatched me for 8.45 a.m. Eastern. I just got out of the parking lot back there. It's 8.48 right now. So I mean... That was, that was impossible. I mean, I could probably go a little bit faster, but I mean, I'm not in any rush at all, man. 15 minutes down the road, I will get there when I get there. But yeah, they gave me like five minutes to get 20 minutes down the road. I'm like, okay, that ain't gonna happen. It's gonna be all right. Oh, well, there's a car off in the uh, side there. It must have crashed. It wouldn't be all the way off there like that. Probably last night when it was all jacked up. So I'm holding about 45 right now. Feels pretty good to me, in my opinion. I'm sure some trucks will be going 60 in this, but I don't know. I got, I'm, you know, I'm 11 miles away, man. Not in any hurry. I'm just cruising. Hell, I'm already late. I got put for dispatch today. <laughs> Five minutes from when I left today. So I was like, I ain't gonna make that. Anyways, so hell. I don't know. It's probably just their way of telling me just get there as soon as you can, probably. Don't dilly-dally. It's probably what they're telling me. I got the negative 40 uh, washer fluid in here. Let me tell y'all a funny story about that. You want to hear a funny story about the washer fluid? So, back when I was in Montana during my first winter storm, right? Some of y'all probably know where I'm going with this. I never changed my washer fluid. Anyways, I was in... Uh, Montana during that first big winter storm I hit. That was the worst one yet. Since, since I've been doing this, that Montana crap was the worst. That was in October, man. Anyways, I didn't switch out my washer fluid. I didn't think about it. It's not something I ever think about. I'm from the south. We don't change the washer fluid. You use the same one during the winter that you use during the summer because it doesn't matter. So it wasn't something that was exactly on my mind or I was accustomed to doing. You know what I mean? Because it's just something I never done. It doesn't really freeze up down there because it doesn't get cold enough. I live on the coast of Mississippi, the Gulf Coast, man. You don't worry about that mess. Anyway, so I'm up in Montana. It gets down to single digits. And there's crap all over the road. Everybody in passages throwing slush and crap all up on your windshield. Suddenly, my washer fluid ain't working. I think I'm out. So I pull over. Uh, I had some extra ones back there. I kept some extra ones because I thought about it. I was like, you know, you never want to be stranded without washer fluid or any way to get crap off of your windshield so always keep some extra you know i thought about that so i was like yeah that's cool i i grabbed my thing opened the hood and i'm like wait i still got washer fluid and then it hit me i knew exactly I, at that moment it was like you know a light bulb went off my head my washer fluid has frozen in the lines and i knew that's what had happened and i tried to get up there and do something it wasn't nothing gonna work it wasn't coming out it was done for I had no washer fluid, man. I was stressing out so bad, man. So bad. I would like stop on the side of the road and take a bottle of water and throw it on the windshield and then clean it off and then continue on with my business. <laughs> eventually, eventually, I got south enough where it warmed up just enough where 
little bits of squirts were coming out and I just ran that thing. I just ran it, ran it, and then suddenly it all started coming out normally. And I just sat there, juke, 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 getting all of that freaking liquid out of there. Funny thing was that the guy sitting next to me, while right when I start doing it, he decides he wants to get outside of his truck and start cleaning his windows. Well, you know, when you're sitting here with this crap, it's flinging that mess everywhere, but I didn't give a damn. I was getting that out of my truck. I was not dealing with that again. And he's over there, I'm like, really? So I pulled up. So I, I pulled up about a good solid six, seven feet out of my parking spot. So then it wasn't splashing all my wiper fluid on him. And I got it all out of there. I wanna say I was in Colorado or something at the time, coming down from Montana. I just gotten out of Wyoming, something like that. And I uh, got it all out of there, ran into Love's or whatever truck stop I was at, got me some of the uh, cold weather fluid, and I was good to go from there, man. Maybe I will get out of Louisville, and I will get down south, man. I'll be so excited when I get to, like, just perfectly clear roads, like 65 and down. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. Whenever I get in the winter mess, I always, like, I just, I just wish for that. Like, it's the only thing on my mind. Like, I think about, man, I took for granted all those times I was driving 65 on a nice, clear road. Like, I took it for granted, man. I did. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how I felt. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. What's that sign up there say? Prepare to stop when flashing. Okay, let's slow down, man. Slow down. It must be a stoplight. That's what I'm assuming. Yep, yep, yep. That's exactly what it is. Yep. Whenever you see that, you gotta prepare to stop, man. Put that there because it's like a blind corner. And a lot of times they put them on. You'll see them on like just highways and things too that are have a high speed limit. You know, when you're going 65 or something and a light's going to come up, you have those to warn you that it's about to change because, you know, it's going to take you a little bit to slow down. We have those in Mississippi. We had them on my box truck route, and I always like when they have that because you just know, you know, you know when to start slowing down. It's not like, oh, crap, the light's going yellow. I'm not going to make it, and you got to slam on the brakes and, you know, try to stop yourself with all the weight. So it's nice when they got those. I like it. It's the next entrance. Yeah, it's the next entrance. It's literally, yeah, it's literally right where that car just turned in. A car just turned in there. Yeah, this is it right here, boys. We're gonna take this real slow because this is very snowy and slushy right here. So there we go. Dynacraft is an idle-free facility. Well, good thing I got a bunk heater. Use of tobacco products is prohibited on campus. I don't use tobacco, I use a vape. All inbound freight to use the trade port. Huh? Shipping or shipping straight ahead. Yeah, shipping's up here. I've been I've been here before. There's a door right up here on the left. And uh, yeah, I don't see a CFI trailer in the docks. It looks like it is gonna be a live unload. Where the heck can I park at? <laughs> see, they had these gates down last time because it was in the middle of the uh, night, but now, they got them opened I guess because you know um I don't know where they want me to stop shipping's yeah right there you gotta take a left I'm just gonna pull up next to these things hopefully I don't block these dudes I don't want to block the gate either so I'm gonna try to pull up a little bit try to get as close to here as I can for anybody that needs to pass me there we go. All right, I'm gonna hang out right here, boys, and I'm gonna run in there. There's the office, I'm gonna run in there and check in, and I'll be right back with y'all. Okay, guys, so this is pretty interesting. Uh, they told me to go up here and to drop the trailer up here, and their yard dog will pick it up and put it in the door that it needs to go into. So I don't have to back into a door. I guess they don't want drivers over here backing. Maybe because maybe they hit their parts over here or something, you know what I mean? I don't know. Or maybe it's just because it's pretty tight they got the yard jockey doing it. I mean, I could do this. This ain't nothing to it. But uh, that's what they told me to do. So she said pull all the way up and then drop it on the side because he's going to have to uh, put it in one of these doors here. Oh, maybe because the door ain't open yet. 
Yeah, it might be because the door's not open yet. So he, she said just bring it all the way up and drop it on the side. So I was like, okay, because he's gonna have to back it. So I'm gonna put it right here. Right here, I guess. I guess, I don't know. I don't know which door he's putting it in. She didn't tell me. She just said pull all the way up and drop it on the side. I don't know. Here he comes, maybe I'll ask him. I guess this works, man. I'm just gonna drop it. <laughs> All right, guys, let me drop the trailer, and our trailer is going to be over there. So it looks like it is a dropping hook, man. It's perfect. All right, 34805, oh, buddies. 34805. Oh, yep, that is it right there, my dudes. That is it right there, 34805. Oh, so it's going to be kind of a pain to back into. We're going to have to stop early and start cutting it back in, like now because of the fact that it's uh, I was at a bad angle so we got to kind of go backwards 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 and then start to cut it now see how that lines up no that didn't line up at all <laughs> let's go up into the left and there we go right there well it's close <laughs> oh, I'm trying to turn the wheel the wrong way I know better. I'm telling you, when you back with the trailer all the time, you gotta think about it when you're bobtail sometimes. Oh, there we go. Is that in there? No, it wasn't. Is it too high? That's odd. Let's try it again. Uh, I re yeah, it's too high. It won't click in. Nope, sure won't. Yeah, we gotta lower the hair, boys. That's what happens when you. That's what happens when you might not tug test. See what I'm saying? Or get under there and look. This happened to me when I was new. Actually, this happened one time when I've been driving for like a week and I called my trainer freaking out. Why won't my trailer lock in, man? My trailer won't lock in. It's in there, it's in the slot. It's just, it's not locking in. He's like 99% sure that it's too high. I was like, oh, okay. And then I, uh, oh man, we have to use the low gear because this thing's heavy. Come on. All right, we're just gonna have to turn it like this for a minute. This is the other gear that y'all asked me, Dave, why don't you use that gear? It's because I'm impatient, all right? And I just want to get it done. It takes forever and a day to do this. <laughs> but that is the easiest way to get the, you know, get it done. Let's see if I can get it a little bit fast now with the uh, other gear. Let's see. Okay, that should go in. <laughs> I still don't think it clicked in. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it did that time. Yep, we are not pulling out from under it, but I'm gonna go double check because since it's heavy, it might be just holding me here with the weight of the trailer, I don't know. So I wanna make sure that I am crispity crisp in there, son. That's what I wanna check. Let's look. Yeah, we're crispity crisp in there now. It is locked in, so. All right, cool. That's all we had to do is lower it. Whew. I'm tired now, man. Tight on the slopping. Oh. All right. All right. Oh yeah, we got good seals on this. Make sure they're all the way in. That doesn't need to be on there. Oh, I didn't turn my dang uh, four ways on. We can stab somebody with this. We can literally just like make sure they're not watching me. 
There we go. This is my favorite part of being a truck driver right here. This is fun. <laughs> this, this is the best thing about being a truck driver is knocking the icicles off. Look, I'm gonna do it to that trailer. How much fun I'm having. All right, we should be able to get this out now. Get up here, we gonna close the doors. Throw our lock on it, throw our seal on it. All those fun things. Whew. Well, that's... Try to reduce a little bit of weight here. <laughs> the, the easy things to get the weight off of. All right. Get this one closed. Oh no, my seal. God bless it. I'm gonna hit my head. Oh, I sure would have. Get God dang. Ow. God dang it, now it's all dirty. I had it in my mouth, but now I'm not going to do that. There we go. There we go. Do your ears hang low? Do they bubble? <laughs> to and fro, can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang, come on. Oh, you, yes. That was a hard hook there. That hook went up high. It was a, I busted my ass, well, I almost did. I didn't bust my ass, but I lost my footing on that thing there. I tripped. <laughs> well, do I even not start to sing for y'all? And then, you, then I got bamboozled. Okay, where's the seal? Oh, I gotta get my lock. I left it in the truck. <sighs> Working harder, not smarter. Every time, man. Story of my life. All right, guys, I'm gonna send my paperwork in a CFI and get on the road. That's gonna end this video. Hope you enjoyed this uh, place and some, you know, normal problems that Dave has every day of, uh, Working harder, not smarter. It's the way to do it in trucking. If you come out here, bro, be like Dave. Work hard, not smart. <laughs> Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape. To a world we don't know, escape into the great unknown.